Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in once again and we did randomize- this isn't The Streak. Um, there you go. This is The Streak. We randomized Eden once again, so we're going to give Eden another go. Of course, Eden can be a risky one depending on the health you start with. Luckily, we started with pretty good health here. We've also started with a Celestial Berry, which I'm pretty happy about. And the Odyssey. On use performs the following actions. Spawns a large pool uh, puddle of blue creep, destroys rocks in a short radius, and attaches anchors to enemies in a short radius. Okay, with a two-room charge, that sounds pretty useful, to be honest. Um, it definitely has a short radius because it didn't attach any anchors to any of those. Uh, with the Celestial Berry, we gain flight, damage, and fire rate if we pick it up, uh, and we also gain a very small but permanent luck increase. So we want to be going for that as much as we possibly can, um, just to get the flight mainly and the stats, but the extra luck will stack up over time having this in the first room. And we do also have a Tinted Rock right there as well. As for the question of the day, if you could choose between flight and invisibility, what would you go for? What would you think would be the most valuable? Um, beggar and machines that take health, 15% chance to play for free. I mean, it's better than the thing we have now, which is nothing. Empty Heart is also kind of useful here. Never really remember how it works, but there you go. Yeah, there you go. Look, we can use our book here to, uh, destroy rocks if we don't have, um, if we don't have bombs, which is really nice. We can get money there. There's a tinted rock there as well that we can grab. Good, good. Yeah, I can't remember. I never sort of remember how Empty Heart works. Okay, unfortunately, Celestial Berry that, that requires a Celestial Berry to grab isn't great. We don't need one that requires us to have flight to get over there. It's not ideal. Okay, this guy's kind of a pain. Don't want to get hit by him, though, because he'll deal a full heart of damage. Having a really, really hard time killing him, though. There you go. Finally got him. Enemies like this on um, new hard mode are so much harder. Right, um... Boom, bow. Unfortunately, the glitch heart was not super lucrative, but we got a soul heart there. And we'll try and get that other tinted rock there as well if we can. I want to go back and do these rooms right here real quick, just in case. And as I said, try and grab the celestial berries whenever we can. The stat increase is just so nice early on. Um, and there's plenty of rooms where flight is super valuable as well. That's another good thing about it. We get ourselves a pill. I'll take the pill. Hey, it's a tears up. There you go. This time it wasn't bad for us, but now I've taken a tears up. I don't take any of the pills unless I find another tears up. You understand that now, right? <laughs> the tears down is waiting for us somewhere. We don't want to take that risk. It's waiting for us somewhere. Okay. Good, good. And then I could use my bomb on this, but I still think it's worth it to... Um, I'm going to have to remember that I don't have to fly every room here. It's going to be annoying. Uh, right. Go here. Destroy that. Oh, really requires a key. A little annoying. Uh, check out our shop. Would it be worth buying a key to open that? I don't actually know if that's a if that's a good min max. Doesn't matter because we can't anyways. Um, let's try and take a little look at where secret room could be. I'm almost certain it's right here, but I'll uh, I'll do a little bit of a walk around first. Also, I've got to say we've got the Elsa hair going on, which is rather nice. Is it Elsa? One of the one of the one of the women from the film. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, we did get our keys nicely here, so we can go and open this up. Eh, reasonably worthwhile, I'd say. Wasn't super worthwhile, but reasonably so. We got a good amount of money now as well. I think this is a pretty good first floor, to be honest. Second secret room is within reach as well. Um, I'm not certain, but I'd bet that it's here. There you go. Um, that's probably not worth it for the golden. Ooh. I do like the burn heart though. Thank you. Unfortunately, just bombs. But the burn heart's nice. Uh, we can go and fill that up before we do our boss. Just in case, because I'd rather not lose it. Um, when we're playing our streak, as I've said before, we want to make sure we're min-maxing. And the first floor is pretty goddamn important, to be honest. In fact, in fact, in fact, we can min-max to an extra degree here. And we can go into our curse room. Um, because now we have a burn heart that we can refill. We can go into our curse room here. A lot more safely. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything great there. Every enemy in the room explodes, taking 15 damage. The explosion hurts you too. Every enemy that dies in the explosion will give you a temporary boost. Okay. Not all that good, to be honest. It is what it is. Alright, we can come back through here and grab this other heart. And we'll do our boss. Oh, it's one of those runaway hearts. I guess I'll just use this on the boss to do a bit of extra damage, but 15 damage isn't a lot. I guess I could save it for later and work with a damp temporary damage boost, but we'll see. Actually, to be fair, 
Ah, I really tried to get that berry there. I just couldn't get it. I was about to say, to be fair, if we let him do that, there you go. That worked really, really well. Really, really well indeed. Ooh, and we get ourselves marbles here as well. Um, Endless Nameless is probably the better one here. Or the Bloody Penny is pretty goddamn amazing. I think I'll take Bloody Penny here. Um, and I think we're just going to leave. I will go back and grab this half red heart, though, just in case. But I'm thinking Bloody Penny mainly because it gives us the ability with a burn heart to be able to play Curse Rooms more often. Uh, not Curse Rooms, Sacrifice Rooms. Um, I feel like that could be pretty god goddamn amazing for us. So. And especially considering with Sacrifice Rooms, we're damaging ourselves constantly, meaning higher chance of smelting said trinket anyways. Even though Endless Nameless is really, really good as well. Endless Nameless can be kind of amazing. It's kind of a shame. I think Marble should um, should gulp the trinket that you're holding when you pick it up as well. I think that'd be quite nice. Okay. We've only missed one strawberry or two strawberries so far, haven't we? So not too, too bad for that. Okay. Going to here. Taurus. I don't particularly like, but the speed down isn't that bad right now, so I'll take it. Taurus can be useful. I'm curious at the lockdown range of, of this anchor thing going on, because it doesn't seem to be really doing much so far. My character's looking pretty gnarly, though. I'm liking the horns plus the hair plus the eyes are looking pretty good. Don't think either of those are a tears up, so... Don't think I'm likely to take these pills, but I'll have a little chickity check. Nah. We're good, we're good. Yeah, that creep's pretty good too. It's a very short-lived creep, mind you, but still seems pretty useful. I like it. Sack there. Ooh, baby, that's lovely. We go back to our shop real quick. Hope that we can get a speed up from our boss just to make Taurus a little better. I think 1.3 speed is about the speed you want to be at for Taurus to not be annoying but be useful in most rooms. Ooh, we get the uh, we get the pot of gold. Now, pot of gold did get nerfed. It did get nerfed, but it's still good. Um... Basically, pot of gold means that, like, all pickups are now pennies. Um, and, uh, yeah, it did get nerfed a bit. Some of the some of the penny types are, like, more rare now, I think, and a few other things, like, along that sort of lines. I, I wonder, um... I wonder with this... So, th I think this is secret room here. It does work. Nice. I was wondering if that would work. Ooh, we'd love to see a Sakura in this floor, but I don't think we're going to end up seeing one. But it would be very, very nice. Nah, unfortunately not. Oh, really? As if I didn't touch that then. I was so close to it. Good, good. Boss time. Ah, god damn it. It's, I think it was worth it for that red heart hit, to be honest. We've got so many red hearts left in the floor. As long as we don't lose our burn heart here, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, Taurus is, uh, like, like I said, at the minute Taurus is pretty useless. We're going to finish Merge Rooms before we get a chance to utilize it. But, on occasion, it will come in handy. Hour of Light's not bad. Uh, right. That was second secret room that we found over there. Do we know where fair secret room would be? Hmm. I, th I think it's likely to be down from here. Yeah, it's, it's very likely to be here. Okie dokie, and we get Milk of Baphomet, which is nice, and we also get a smell of pennies. Instantly smelts our trinket. Super, super useful. Milk of Baphomet, of course, quite nice here. Come bomb on through to here as well and see what we get. And there's the speed up we're looking for. It's very, very nice, of course. Was in a much better position. And this min maxing's working out. Milk of Baphomet's pretty good for us here. I like it. It can be it can be detrimental, because it can like trigger curse of the tower and stuff, but overall it's usually good. It's usually a good thing. It just can be bad sometimes. Now Taurus isn't activating in this room for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's because I have to pick up an item to activate the room. I don't know. But as you can see, we're not having a super hard time of killing stuff right now. We're kind of just plugging along. Yep, 
you go. Penny there. Right. We've got plenty of hearts. So again, care shroom is valuable. And we've got a, a burn heart to play with. And we even got a healing penny there as well. And this will teleport us out. Yeah, straight into this room. Okay. We are good to go. We found our secret rooms. We've, we've min-maxed the hell out of this floor, I think. Shop's not valuable to us anymore. We've got pot of gold. So go down to the next floor. Devil deal is tempting, but I actually think my health is not quite good enough to warrant it yet. We've not had empty heart proc yet. Again, still never remember how to actually proc empty heart, I'll be honest. Can I? Okay. I was like, can I get that heart? And, uh, the strawberry? No, I literally can't. It's underneath an enemy. We may lose our burn heart here to my stupidity there, which is a shame. Yep. There you go. We lost it. I've had to wait a second longer for Taurus there, goddamn. That was surely quite unfortunate. Tears up, look down. Got another tears up going. Okay. Oh, we got a bad trip there. The acid pennies used to give you a pill, now they use a pill. So they can be kind of detrimental. But overall, I'll still take the gamble. Just checking the secret room then, see if it was in that wall there. It were not. We've got plenty of money now, though. That's a good thing about Pot of Gold. You've always got a lot of income. Because everything is pennies now. God damn, these guys are strong. Holy hell. You guys took some time. Good, good. I think this overall Pot of Gold is still a fantastic item. It's still very, very good. Lovely stuff. Two healing pennies. We don't need those yet. We'll save those for if we need them. God damn, I missed my burn heart already. I want it back. Take out the hairy fellas first, because they are by far the most annoying enemies here. This um this little light uh arrow item seems to give me like crazy high knockback. A really bad place to stand. It seems to make my knockback, like, really, really high for some reason. Even though the item doesn't actually say that it does that. Maybe it's just higher shot speed leads to that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how shot speed equates into, um... Into... Knockback. I've not really thought about that before. Extra key, lovely. Unfortunately, not a very good item. I think I will just recycle it and hope for the best. Standing still for a few seconds in a shop makes Isaac sit down. Every 45 seconds after sitting, you earn a coin. Occasionally, shopkeeper costume may shed a hostile spider. What? So we could just sit there and earn money if we wanted to take a really, really long time. What's this do? Teleports Isaac to the cash room. Nice. Are oh, you bugger? These are like some of the most annoying enemies to hit. Right, do this. Bugger. It's annoying. Didn't really get what I wanted out of that at all. Right, back to the shop. We've got plenty of money to work with here. Would like some more HP. This is why I went, didn't go to the devil deal though. Because otherwise our HP would have been so much worse right now. We also don't want that. Wait, where is our other trinket? Okay. I guess nowhere. Um, unfortunately, not a lot good there either. So, we sit down, and every 45 seconds we produce one coin. It seems very bizarre as a, as a trinket. I don't know who came up with that idea, but it seems weird. It seems really, really strange. Looking for some diffuse rocks to use this diffuse against. Little bomb rocks. Yeah, I would like some actual stat increases now to our uh, damage rather than just having the uh, rather than just having to rely on the 
the strawberry. Because it's, it's good, but, like, we don't always get it. We need something more standard. This is very stupid of me. Nice, got a golden penny there. Try and do the rest of these rooms if we can. Unfortunately, it's, it's a bit annoying that we've got so much money and our shop was so blah. Need to chill out, Mr. Bomb Throwing Boy. I said, I need that flight for the chest here. I don't have to use a bomb. Stop giving me all the goddamn pills. I've had all the pills I need. Ooh. Half soul heart there. And it gave me a red heart as well. This is a good thing about having a penny trinket smelted. I've got so many pennies to see now. So what I mean about the knockback? Look at the knockback on this. It's, it's, it's kind of wild. Okay, Taurus. Really not ideal here. Although, it kind of worked out. Hey, it worked out pretty well, okay. Two of clubs doubles our number of bombs. I mean, I've got none right now, so... Not great. Pretty fly. I guess I'll just double it so I can have two bombs. Diffuse. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I'm still going to do the rest of these rooms, because why not? Hello, hello. I I think it's worth playing this at the moment, because I've got a lot of money to work with, and I've got not a lot of power, so let's try this out. Do you think this can be a little overpowered sometimes? Well, let's give it a go. When I've got this much money, I think it's worthwhile. Great. I didn't realize the uh, the little ghost could die while he was idle, but apparently he can. Thank you, Taurus. I kind of needed you here. I didn't realize a little dude sitting in the middle of the room could get, like, axed like that, but... It is what it is, I guess. Good. good. Oh my god, we only left one left. Easy. Yeah, red hearts for days, baby. See what I mean? We've got soul hearts and all souls out of this. It's amazing. So all the other rooms were so easy. That first one was just kind of bullshit. Anyways, we escaped with what we got. Not bad. Definitely very worthwhile the money we paid into it. I, th I think we actually made money from doing this. And I might as well pay into this guy to try and get a HP up. Or mapping either or would be good. I would take either. Bacon grease. Cool. A little bit more shot speed. Shot speed's going a bit nutty now, but there you go. Oh, we got not for a little while here from our tattered page. We got it as a lemma get wisp. Certainly not bad for us. Okay. Floor is complete. A little bit of a little bit of a more involved one. We took a bit of time, but I think the min maxing is worthwhile when we come out of the floor feeling this powerful. I don't think it's a crazy powerful run yet by any means, but it, it's got the makings of one so far from the extra min maxing we've done, sort of thing. I was kind of hoping he'd jump on that creep, but he decided not to. Honestly, I like this book for just destroying rocks. Everything else about this book is like meh, but the destroying rocks part of it is very useful. <laughs> A speed plus damage is very nice. That puts our Taurus up to the magic number, right? Okay, 1.21. 1.3 is kind of ideal, but 1.21 is pretty good too. Um, Honestly, this is pretty worthwhile because of uh, the stuff that we've got going on here. All the different pennies we can get and all the hearts we can get back through picking up pennies. Full health, dude. Oh my god. Mm. 
I know this machine's gonna get blown up by me dropping bombs at any minute. You see what I mean? This is good shit. <laughs> Penny trinkets do be good. Oh, beautiful stuff. I'll play down, play you down to 30 cent at least, if we can. Make sure range, lovely. Probably should have played this first for a trinket. Little fiend, why not? And then we'll, yeah, we'll try and get a trinket or something out of you. Just blew up straight away, okay. Good stuff, though. We, uh, we, we earned a lot there. That was a very good arcade for us. A very beautiful arcade indeed. Now, the locking down thing just does, with the anchors just doesn't seem to work. Oh, can I get that? No, I've not got enough speed. Why is my speed so low right now? What do I have that's making my speed so low? Oh, did, did, did this bucket of blood give me like a massive speed down? <laughs> Did I, did I not pay attention to that? I had like 1.2 speed, didn't I? Now I'm down to 0 0.66. I genuinely don't know. I'm like, it must it must be from the bucket of blood. How did I not notice that? It's very bad. It's our speed down to abysmal levels. Proptosis is pretty good. The token there, but I don't really have a good use case for it right now. Shot speed plus Proptosis is good. It makes our range a little further. Okay, shop, please don't be a fight. That is not a fight. This could be pretty good. We got the clicker, which I'll take. Uh, we'll, we'll take this as well and just use it. Good stuff. Got some soul hearts back there. Take another. Oh, I can't even take another soul heart. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, clicker's decent. I like clicker. Look, pennies are rather nice too. We're not going to be able to get that. And do are we ready to go? Have we been to our item room? Item room is proptosis, right? Yeah. Oh, proptosis, man. Proptosis is so goddamn good. Holy light's quite nice as well here. Okay, pretty happy with all of this thus far. Only thing I'm not happy about is my current speed is abysmal. That bucket of blood must have had to have been like a 0 0.5 speed down though. That would be insane, right? That would be pretty wild. We've got our little ghost buddy here chilling with us. Little Fiend doing his best as well. Quickly get rid of that error. Stars, remove our oldest collected item. Um, collected passive item, ignoring starting items. I don't know how that would work with this guy. I might get rid of Celestial Berry, but I'm down to try it. If we can find our secret room. Oh, there's two Celestial Berries in here. Excuse me, why? <laughs> Wait, hold up. Does my little ghosty buddy have a celestial berry as well? Oh, that penny's glitched or something. I think I get two celestial berries every room because of my little ghost buddy, you know. And I collect I can collect them both as well, so probably worth keeping this for now. Probably worth keeping this because I can gain better stats from it and a lot of luck. Having two of those is very, very nice. Not always going to be able to get both of them, but a lot of the time I will. I just wish I had just a lot, 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 lot more speed. <laughs> like an alarming amount more speed because this speed is just gross. My little ghost buddy died anyhow. 
Now I don't get two. Right. Uh, secret room. Where at though? Possibly here. No, no, no. Should have known that already. Forgot what was in this room. I didn't bother to check. It's probably up from here then instead. Nope. Maybe below. Maybe it's here. It is. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try this. We might lose our berry here, but I'm going to give it a go. We didn't. Good. Unfortunately, our items are kind of trash. I'm going to hold out for a potential reroll, even though it's not likely. But both those items are pretty trash. I'd rather have something better. Oh, boy. Game is treating us good at the moment. Ooh, scary. Well, I have flight, so not actually scary at all. We're doing like 1.8 damage a click. It's like more than soy milk damage. We can just spam click and kill things. Unfortunately, no reroll. I, I honestly can't be bothered going back for it anyways. We've been to our shop, have we? No, we haven't. How the hell did I miss our shop there? I should at least go back and check that out. But yeah, I'm glad they actually did ignore my starting items. I didn't know if it would with Eden, because they're not real starting items. That's good, because empty, empty vessel, empty heart, whatever it's called, had literally not done anything for us, so we really did not need it. I guess we'll take some tier size up. Why not? And then, yeah, I need that. Why not? Yeah, we've got such good range, considering we've got um, thingy. Proptosis, it's really good. Fortunately, no flight in this room. Right, let's just go straight off to our boss and see what we can get done. Yeah, I really like having this clicker, because as you can hear, we can just kind of spam click the hell out of it to uh to get some extra damage on and like i said with it's it's like 10 percent of your base damage so it actually does a ton of damage per click with this amount of damage i mean yeah you're very wrecked good sir oh some more damage for us thank you very much although maybe doesn't apply damage based on damage multipliers because i don't see how it could possibly give a 0 0.2 in that scenario weird Strength card is here, I guess. And yeah, we're in a situation now where it's pretty hard for us to lose um, a lot of our HP and stuff, to be honest. Some of the pennies are, are not disappearing on collection. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Doesn't seem to happen every time, though. Just some of the pennies on occasion. That wasn't secret room, wow. Probably should have just used my uh, thingy anyways. Luckily, we can use that click here to cheese this. There you go. I'm just going to wait for you to throw out your kids. We'll be done with you. Do your little noise. Oh, gotta love it. I'm so glad I have these hearts, by the way. I know I'm not using a lot of them right now, but very nice to have them. There is actually a sacrifice room here that we could use. Potentially, um, yeah. I, 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 for the for the most part, I've seen that consecration is is better. It's like less single target damage, but better AOE. Okay, I think AOE is more preferable most of the time. Okay. We'll re-roll this because I don't really care for that. Brittle Burns replaces all of Isaac's red heart containers with six empty burn hearts. It's kind of interesting because we could... We could... Do that... Hmm. I think overall we do want to take that regardless. You see, like, it picked it up there and then it... it I think it's when I enter and leave a room. Yeah, because burn hearts are just better anyway, as long as we can fill them up, and if we do end up losing them somehow, we gain fire rate, so it's not it's not a bad call at all, I don't think. 
But we're getting so much red hearts from all of the various coins about. It just makes sense, right? I can't open that yet. Yeah, I'm just wrecking stuff right now. Healing Penny there as well. You see, this this Penny didn't pick up either. What, what What's going on? Is it something to do with having flight, maybe? I don't know. You people might need to take a look at your mod. Something's not working right. Nothing in my console saying about it is that it's just coming down that's, uh, that's errored in the console. There's nothing else in there specific to this. I don't have keys. Goddamn. We are lacking right now. I have gulped my trinket. Not bad at all. I was kind of close. I kind of just walked over this assuming I already had flight. I most certainly did not. <laughs> I almost just walked straight onto those spikes. But yeah, health doesn't look great right now as it is, but it will get better pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, look, even then, it didn't pick up right. What's, what's, it must be something to do with flight with the strawberry. Lovely. Sacred Orb is a little bit late for it, to be honest, but it's it's something you can't not take. We've not got a ton of items left over the course of the run. Does make getting Cast of the Blind less worrisome, though. There are some high-quality items that could ruin your run, but not a lot. I don't know where the enemy is. Just keep spamming click. So let's take a look next time we get a penny. Just a regular heart. Yeah, we'll, we'll t try and actually figure out what's causing the error here, because it'd be useful to be able to report back. Okay, penny here. I've got flight. It, it works. That one worked fine. So, yeah, I'll be honest, I have no idea what the issue is. I tried to figure it out. I could not... Soul heart there. Yeah, it seems kind of random when it doesn't work and when it does. I'd like keys, please, for when we get to the uh, thingy floor, you know. We're very, very low on keys. Not very usual for me. Oh, there's a key. Wait, that, so that, that one, that gave us a key but didn't pick up the coin. If I walk back into the room, the coin is gone. So, so, so the the coin does actually work. It does actually give us what it's supposed to, but it doesn't visually disappear. It makes a great sound effect and stuff. It, it's, it's just it's kind of strange. Shot speed. I don't think I need any more shot speed, to be honest. Slightly annoying, but we got through it. Oh, there's another key back there. I should go grab that. Use the death card when we touch that. Smooth stone. Lovely. Right. Quickly go back and grab this. I'm on two keys so far. I think, I think we've got this run in the bag for the most part, right? This seems like a pretty open and shut case. We've been doing very well on our streak, to be honest. Like I said before, like, this is, it, it's just kind of like a reassurance to myself that I am still good at Isaac. <laughs> like, I, I do die in a lot of my runs in my regular save file, but I feel like it's just because I'm playing quick and not very seriously. When I'm actually trying at the game, um, when I'm actually trying at the game and trying to make sure that I uh, min-max and stuff like that, I can actually be pretty good at this game. Um, and I feel like the streak is... I mean, I'm, I'm proud of the streak, but I think I'm more proud of the fact that it's a streak with Fiend Folio on. And I realize I have been playing with Fiend Folio for like more than a year at this point, so it's not like I'm not used to it. But Fiend Folio is significantly harder than the vanilla game. Like, significantly harder. Um, and granted, there is plenty of things that we have via mods that make things easier, like items that can make things easier, consumables and drops and stuff. But I think that that's like why Fiend Folio is such like an integral mod to my pack. One, I think it's just really high quality and a lot of fun. But I think the main thing is that 
the the balance of the game kind of h hangs in the balance of Fiend Folio. Because if I if I had all the mods that I have now without Fiend Folio, I feel like the game would feel way too easy. But I feel Fiend Folio kind of drags it back a little bit, sort of thing. Why don't I just use my keys on this? Oh, I mean, I worked so long to get those two keys, and I just spent them on this, and it's just full of oh, that's that's quite depressing. That is, that is not, not really what my plans were there. I don't know why I did that. I wasn't really thinking about the fact that it would cost me my keys to do that. I was not thinking straight at all. Unfortunately, key pennies are not coming to us quickly. But this is good. This, this, this is proving the, that the nerf to, um, the nerf to... The coin crown, whatever it's called, is uh, is good. They've done a good job of nerfing it. It's still strong, mind you. It's still definitely the holding of its quality three status, but it's not as good as it used to be. Beautiful. And up we go. Looks like we're probably not going to have keys at all for our chests, unfortunately. I mean, I'll try, but I think at the minute there's, there's no real guarantee that I can do anything to help. I'm just going to hope and wait for the pennies to drop that give me keys. Ow. Taurus went off very quickly there. And it's doing literally no damage to him. Oh, the damage we do when we're firing tears, though, is immense. Oh, my lord. Okay. Every single time I've ever dissed you for not giving me items, we can, we're over that now. You just gave me Sacred Heart on this run. Okay. Unfortunately, we have we have breached the amount of speed that is nice to have. We're now at 1.94, which means we activate Taurus immediately, which is horrible. And also, Taurus seems to do no contact damage anymore. I'm not... Really sure why that is. A key. Normally Taurus does do contact damage, right? So I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Yeah, not ideal. For this room, this... Our stats are going all over the goddamn place, so... Uh, what the hell's going on in this room? There's apparently an enemy I need to kill before I... Oh, there's buttons, I see. Couldn't see the buttons prior. Come on, keys. I've only got one so far. Bombs would be nice too to open up those. Luckily, while I've got Taurus, I can still click to deal damage. So I've, I've got a little bit of a loophole going on right now. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Right. Back over this way, apparently. Nope. This way. Oh, God. Taurus, you're the worst. Why you gotta instantly activate? Should always have like a three second buffer before it activates, no matter what your speed is. That would be ideal. At least the, in these room, rooms with these guys, you can't get a. Uh, Forced into Taurus. I still don't get why sometimes I'm dealing contact damage and other times I'm not. Yeah. I think we're fine now. Ow, we've got a lot of spikes about. We have unfortunately lost all of our black hearts so far, which was not what I was hoping for. Right, okay. Boss time. 
Again, not ideal. Wasted a ton of time here. Trying to do something here. There you go. It's annoying, because, yeah, like, when we've got damage like this, we can pretty much insta-kill the rooms, so... Taurus just completely halts us in our progress. Ooh, little horn fell. Has a chance to fire bursts of tears when hitting any projectile spawns a friendly bomb fly. When Isaac takes damage, we'll reward you for bombing Tinted Rocks. Oh, cool. Kind of nice. Seems pretty cool. We've got good luck, so we should find some chests around. This damage is like nothing. Parasitoid Tears is lovely. We get like a second of firing, like a quarter of a second of firing before the Taurus starts. So we can, we can get something done, just not a lot. Don't need that right now. We got a flight at the moment, so this is kind of bad. What I wouldn't give for a sacrificial dagger right now, my god. No, my game crashed. That's the first time I've had a game crash in a while. It's fine though. The game should pretty easily boot back up and let us restart the stage. One second. Uh... Ice. Right, let's keep it going. Um, where are we? Continue, cool. I've not had game crashes like that in a while, like a really long while, so I'm not sure, sure why I'm getting them. I've had a few recently. Like, I'd rather the game obviously like error out and tell me what's going on rather than just be a blind fail. I still think we're going the right way over this way, to be fair, so I'm going to carry on going this way. I don't know if the, um... If the strawberries change location. Oop, I just telepilsed. And I'm going a completely different direction now. Oh, I hate Taurus. Why'd I take Taurus, man? It just ruins the pace of my run. It lasts so long as well. Tough Love's pretty good stuff for us here. Oh, I mean, this guy really ruins our pace. He just sits in the sky for ages. Okay. Back over this way. I think we probably were going the right way, to be honest, but I will check these rooms regardless. It seemed right. But it might not have been. I mean, you never know with this floor. It could be a bit of a maze. I don't even know what's going on here. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, at least we're still able to do good damage to them, regardless with the clickety clicks. Oh, yes, baby. Back up to full HP. I mean, the invincibility means that it's really hard for our little ghost buddy to die. Anti-grab, why not? Give me a little horn fell. Maybe a little horn fell was what caused the crash, I don't know. Haha, I've already been in this room, so I don't get paused. Nice. Fair any bottles, fine for me, thank you. Just kind of stay away. Let the room suss itself out. Hopefully not crash. It might have been something to do with the Consecration Fires as well. You never really know. Unless you get a specific error, but... The game's in kind of... Oh, it wasn't even the right way anyways. God damn it. Right, where are we going then? Probably left here instead. Nope. A lot of pennies up there. Secret room teleport. I love the fact that just all these pennies are all different random types. Great. 
Right, back over this way. We can actually open up one of our chests now that we've got an additional key as well. Nothing to spend our money on though, unfortunately. That would be nice. Chance to spawn friendly skeleton enemies from killed enemies will also periodically spawn a couple when you have none. Hmm, okay. A lot of uh, scaly bobs there for us. Don't mind if I do. Oh, look at, I didn't realize these guys were still alive. God damn, there's a lot of skeleton enemies. God damn. Multidimensional baby joins the crew. Conjoined as well. I mean, to be fair, it's actually kind of nice to have all these Bernie boys about, because they can kill stuff while I'm stuck in Taurus. Which is a lot of the time. Death card. Okay. Really? This isn't the right way either? I was the right way all along back over there. That's frustrating. The D6 is actually more useful now than, than our other active. Eternal Bombs is actually really good. They go through boss armor and they deal extra damage to bosses, so you can probably do some pretty good damage to Blue Baby through some of his boss armor at the start of the fight. Should be quite gnarly. Okay. Dude, my burnies. There's so many of them. Just killing it. I mean, at least I don't have to worry about taking damage at the start of a room anymore. <laughs> Taurus is always there. Dude, this is an insane item with all these burnies. It's a lot of burn bros. It's a lot of bone bros. Oh my god, look at it. They're just like swarming him. Yeah, those eternal bombs are absolutely insane. Okay, a nice little win there once again. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A good one indeed. I'll see you guys in the next one.